Hello, hello, hello. Hey everyone, my name is Robin from Robin Journey Through Crafting. And here's some of the things that you're going to need to do this pro uh, project. There's some cashmere uh, um, yarn right here. Ooh, I love it. We have a glue gun. You're gonna need this um, bunny um, wreath from Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, unravel some of this um, yarn and then I'm gonna cut it right here. Um, only because I want to be in control of the yarn. And all I'm going to show you is I'm going to um, um, glue it down here so I can start um, wrapping it on the reef. And guys, if you buy Dollar Tree, try to get more than one of these reefs because if you get three or four of them, you can make a cute, a very cute, cute project. Um, just put them side by side in all different directions and voila you have a, a whole new project so he, right here you'll see me trying to get the glue um, to a heave to the reef um, it's, it wasn't hard I, I was just kind of confused at this point right here um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to double wrap it here yeah but as you can see that's what I decided And it was hard working in these gloves, these plastic gloves here, but I, I want you to know, guys, I could not show my nails. They are so damaged right now, and I didn't get a chance to go to the salon, so that's one of the reasons. I really don't like working with glue and plastic gloves. I really don't. It don't mix, believe me when I tell you. So I'm right here, I'm gonna to continue to wrap, and all you're gonna do is um, wrap it and keep it as close as possible together. You know, just don't let any sunlight in. If you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, you just want to wrap it as close as possible. So, what I you'll see me do is push them together quite often during this project. And this was a very cool project. As you can see right here, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm flying through this, guys. Um, at first it was hard, but once you get the hang of it, it becomes much easier to wrap and roll and right here you'll see me push it together this is what I was talking about there we go there you go we're gonna bring it together and guys this yarn was, this yarn was purchased at Michael's and it comes in all different colors um this is the same yarn that yarn yarn that people will use when they're making cashmere sweaters um socks and on and on and on but yeah I bought this yarn to make a um pair of socks with it So we're just gonna finish this up right here. Coming up as you see. And yeah, and all I'm gonna do is uh, glue it down right here. Now coming up, um, you'll see me um, look like I'm doing, um, I'm wrapping some more of this cashmere um, around the reef and I did um, as you, you'll see in, in a little bit how it looked at like it was more yarn in one spot than the other so what I decided to do and you can see empty spots there what I decided to do was go over it again and guys when I went over it again see you see right here some spots yeah there you go some spots are um, thicker than the other spots right here is where you I decided I'm going to just wrap it all again and have it all come together as one but the second time around it went much faster because I knew what I had to do and it looked so much better I'm um, double wrapped but you don't have to it was just a preference of mine It's really a time-consuming project, but guys, it's well worth it. Wait till you see it. Wait till you see the outcome of it. So right here, you'll see I'm finished, and I'm going to start the ears now. So I'm going to take this, um, take this jute twine right here, and I'm going to wrap it around the ears. Um, what I noticed, guys, is that I wish I would have got um, this jute twine a little bit thicker. The Dollar Tree, this jute twine was, was purchased from um, Amazon, but I think um, Dollar 
poetry juke one um, would have made it look just a little bit better because it's much thicker and I had to do a lot of wrapping around just because uh, this juke one was, was, was so um, thin and light yeah I wish I would have used a thicker one and all I'm doing is I'm going to glue it around the ears and I'm going to keep doing the same exact thing I did with the cashmere I'm just going to keep wrapping it Once again, it's very time consuming, guys, but you will really, really like it. Um, this will be hanging on my front door. Um, and that's another reason why I cut the jute twine also, to make it much easier to, to wrap it and to throw it through and to bring it back through. Because to have a whole lot of it and doing that is crazy. There you go. Now see how cute that look. That magnet was much thicker. Yes. So now I'm starting on the other ear. And you can't see it, but right the first ear that I did, I wrapped some jute twine around the ear um, at the bottom to keep it together. You'll see it at the end because I actually I did both ears um, the same way. Sorry about the angle. Sometimes you get wrapped up in a uh, project that you forget that you're recording and that you should have moved a little to the left or to the right. Or, uh, I don't have an overhead camera. I'm looking for one. So if anybody know of an overhead good camera or an overhead uh, tripod, please put it in the comments for me. It's very hard to find one of those. So as you can see right there, all I'm doing is wrapping. Trying to, right now I'm trying to find an easy way to do it but I made a huge mistake by doing it like this I should have cut it like the other one but I didn't so now it's all twisted up here and um, yeah there you go I'm going to have to start all over you probably think I'm I just realized that I wasn't in the camera focus. So, like I said, sometimes you get wrapped up in your projects that you forget. Hey, I didn't need that camera anymore. But as you can see right there, it's, yeah, it's, wrapped, it's, it's wrapped pretty cool. And all I'm doing is finishing it off. Um, because I, I did decide to cut it. And uh, I didn't have enough, so I got to start it again. So I'm going to just put a little bit of glue just a tad. And this would be a real fun project, guys, for your kids. I think your little kids would love to do this project here. You can actually go get the bigger yarn um, from Michaels. They have the real big, I, I don't know if it's called full, full yarn. I don't know what it's called, to be honest with you. I don't know why full came to my mind, but they have a, a thicker yarn, much thicker and much wider. And I think um, little kids would love to do this project, guys. Especially girls get pink and white. And for boys get blue and white. And pick up some some carrots from the Dollar Tree. And just have a ball. Guys, have a ball with you. With your kids. Your kids would love this project, kids. I find it to be very fun. And I'm an adult. So I know kids would love it. But yeah, this this project here is about to come to an, to an end. Um, the ears are done. And I just love this project here, honey. As a crafter, you fall in love with certain projects that come together. And this is one of them. There's the ears that I was talking about. So I will have to go back and you'll see now. I'm going to start the second ear. Guys, if I was to do this again, I would take that same method that I'm getting ready to do to wrap around the bottom of the ears. I would do it going all the way up to close up those ears. I think it would have looked better if I would have closed up those ears. Just kept, just keep wrapping all the way until you get to the top. I think it would have looked much better than me going around the ears. I think I should have just sealed it all up. And 
and you see my light at the, at the end of this. I'm, I don't know if I, um, I don't know if I cut it out, but I took that light of there and I just went um, and burned the little tips off of the uh, jute twine. I, I call them tips. They call something up. I just, it just, I think it takes away from the um, project, so I burn it, and it gives it a little dark color, which is cute. Again, guys, I'm crafting in my, my bedroom, so and, you know I I try to show you as much as possible, but I can't show you too much because you will be crafting in my bedroom with me. We don't want that. So, a lot of times you're going to um, I'm going to mess up by not showing you everything, and that's one of the reasons why. Because I have the camera phone. coming down on the angle, just on the desk. So here it is, guys. Look at my ears. Isn't that cute? Now from here, you can do whatever you want to do, guys. You can put carrots all around here. You can actually change it into a, a, a clock. Um, I'm going to make a bowl to put on on, on her head because she's a girl. I'm making her as a girl. But you can do so many different things um, at this point here with it. Um, I myself, I, I got some extra, purchased some extra stuff from, from Dollar Tree. I call them props. But I don't, I, you can call them whatever you want. I call them props because I'm adding on to something that I already have. And once I do that, I call it props. It might not be correct, but that's what I call it. So I'm going to take some carrots from, um, um, from this other purchase that I made from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to add it on to, um, this one, this this um this wreath here, and I love to add on. I love to buy something and mix and match it with other projects. I think you get what your money calls for, or well, you get more for your money doing it that way. Cause I could have left this rabbit um plain, um and it still would have worked. Um yeah, but I wanted to throw something, um you know something, so you could actually know that it's for Thanksgiving. Guys, you can do this in pink and white. Once again, you don't have to use these colors. I chose these colors because I love these colors. I love working with you. I got a couple of, uh, quite a few more projects coming up where I'm going to be working with um, um Juke Twine. And that'll be coming up really soon. I have this idea. But yeah, so all I'm doing now is taking a piece of that cashmere um, yarn and just tying it, just to keep it together. You know, just keep that bowl together. And guys, it's just as simple as that to make a bowl. Um, you can make them as big as you want. You can um, make them as small as you want. So here you see me try to straighten it out know, to fix it to my liking. I always seem to get one bowl bigger than the other, so you'll see me going back and forth. That's exactly what just happened here. the camera wasn't focusing wasn't focused so I had to um, you know, fix it so you guys can see I'm just gonna tie it as tight as possible to bring it you know give it that that um, hole in the middle and isn't it beautiful just like that you have made a beautiful bow So here 
Mm, the, the fun part. You fluff it up. You fluff it up and out to the size that you want. And coming up, I will be putting some um, colorful, I think they're um, water beads. I think that's what they call them. But I'll show you the box coming up. I think I'm here. I'm looking for it. Oh, isn't that cute? See, you could have just left it just like that. It's so cute. I was thinking maybe I should have put it up a little bit higher where the ears begin. I think I should have did that, but you know, hey, you know, you know. Again, the camera's going to go out of focus. That really right there can be purchased at the Hollow Tree. I love going in there. When you see it, please pick up more than one. Because when you go back, you're not going to find it. I love that movie. Especially if you're going to be working with you too. It's a perfect match. Okay, guys, so if you're still here with me, that means you like what you see. So this would be the perfect time for you to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Become part of my family. Rosin's journey through crafting and guys right now I, what I'm doing here is I'm getting some of these beads out um, I purchased this from Michaels they come in all different colors I call them water beads I, I, I doubt that's the name of them um, but yeah so now what I'm doing is I'm taking um, the, the bunny signs like I told you from another project or another um, purchase that I made from Dollar Tree it came um, three or four different things mixed in with, with, with these carrots here. And um, um, all I did was take, took them apart and added them to this project here. It did come with a um, um, another bunny. Um, I think it was a wooden bunny. And all I did was took these carrots off because I wanted to give this project here a pop. So all I'm going to do is glue them on. No particular way. Just facing... So when you read it, you, you can understand, you know, what it's saying. And this is what this project out completely does. It's a really cute project. If I had it to do, do it all over again, I would make some changes. But um, as of right now, I like it. So I know you see it says Happy Easter. Um, it is one of the cutest things I've done in a long time. I like it. Um, like I said, it's going to go on my outside door for the world to see. And so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a smaller bow to put on the other carrot because it didn't have a bow. And it was the same process as the bigger bow. No, I didn't. I took a, a, a pencil and I wrapped it around and I tied a knot. And it's just like tying a shoe. That's what I did. That's how I did that. So coming up, you'll see me put the, um, the bow on the carrot. And guys, um, I just did a, a, a short um, six-minute video where I show you how I trace these carrots here. Um, with just plain cardstock. And um, you can paint them, you can have the kids paint them, um, and do all kind of crazy things with them. So check that one out. And that's another thing that, that's, that's good about these um, um, things you purchase from Dollar Tree. You can reuse them and, you know, use them as an add-on, which I did here. So guys, this project is finished. That's the back. This is the front, guys. Isn't this cute? Now, would you hang this on your door? If so, give me a big thumbs up. So, guys, my name is Rosalind from, from Rosalind from Journey Through Crafting. And once again, thank you for being part of my family. I love you and have a good one.